What's up guys? I'm back with another pod to try. Today we're going to jump into the Anze, Anze Amarillo. It's a Capsicum Annuum. They grow to this nice kind of orange color. Decent sized pod. Plant gets about uh, three, three and a half foot, uh, probably at max. I mean, in peak growing conditions, you could probably get it four, four and a half foot, maybe even five foot, uh, depending on soil and perfect conditions, everything. But I'd say average is about three foot, two and a half, three foot. Uh, produces a lot of peppers. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and cut this open. I have not tried this one yet, so you guys are going to be the first with me to see this. So we're going to pop the cap open. We're going to. Cut it down the middle. All right. Holy smokes. As you see, tons of seeds. I'm going to knock these seeds out because I'm going to save them dry and I'm going to share them with people. Um, probably on the uh, Google uh, Plus uh pepper group it's the easiest way for me to do it that's probably how I'll do it um, and little things seeds don't have any heat to it it's really the placenta so I'm not taking anything away from the pod let's get some of these seeds out so I can get a true taste of the pepper so that many seeds you're just gonna get seedy bitter taste and uh, then you're not really getting a true taste what the, the pepper's like. So we got a good half right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump in onto it. Onsai Amarello. Cat's Manual. Thank you so much guys. Here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Rough back. Pretty thick wall. Really thick. Skim. Heat. It's building. It has a sweet taste to it. A lot of chewing with this. It's such a thick wall. This would be really excellent dry. Just because of the thickness of the wall. Making it into like a powder. Mmm. He's coming on out a little bit. Um, across the tongue, a little bit back here. Uh, mainly on the tongue, front of the tongue. Right there. A nice pleasant burn. Taste is pretty good. Nice sweet taste to it. Uh, but the only thing is, uh, it's it's just uh. It's not a lot of, uh, it's not thin walled, it's not thick walled like a bell where it's thick and juicy when you bite into it and you're getting all the, uh, all the juices. This is kind of like, a uh, thick dried walled, uh, not a lot of, uh, moisture in there. Uh, so that would lead me to believe that this would be best, uh, dried into flakes or powder. I think that would be excellent. The burn is nice, smooth, um, sweet undertone to it quite pleasant uh almost has like like a, a jalapeno burn to it uh, which is nice nice alternative to uh using jalapenos is using this in, in a powder form i think will work well in, in many dishes honestly um yeah that's it's, it's still it's got a little mouth burn a lot around around the uh lips and the tongue uh, nothing too much really in the throat um Maybe just a little bit from swallowing, but that's uh that's not uh quite nice. Uh you know. For me I would classify it as a mild variety. Uh some may people may think it's a medium. To me it's a mild, but I would use that uh, in everyday cooking for sure. Uh I still had the the burn's still kinda going. Uh it's nice, nothing overpowering. But just a nice, smooth, even burn. Um, I like that a lot. 
Um, and I hope you guys like it a lot too, because I'm going to uh, save as many seeds as I can. The plan is loaded down. I'm going to try to save as many seeds as I can. Try to share this with people so other people can enjoy uh, some of the things that, that I'm lucky enough to enjoy with these peppers. Uh, That's a great pepper. Uh, really enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. I know it's kind of short and sweet, but that's it, folks. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.